everybody, what is up and welcome to today's video. If you don't know me, my name is Rosa and on this channel we create reselling type videos like this one. Um, I sell on Poshmark, eBay, and Mercari, but I mostly focus on Poshmark for this channel. If you guys want to know what I got at the thrift store for the month of March to sell on my Poshmark shop, make sure, or in my Poshmark shop, make sure to keep on watching. Also, please make sure to like and subscribe and let's go ahead and get started with the video. The trend for this particular haul is Harry Potter Luna Lovegood vibes. So I found some pieces that totally remind me of Luna Lovegood and I had to pick them up. I thrift basically once a month for the next month. So all of this is what I'm gonna be listing in the month of March. After I finish with all of these items, I just go ahead and relist. Just if you guys wanna know kind of how I maintain the listing aspect of reselling. So let's go right into it. I have six bags here, all from Goodwill. I paid, I will tell you transparently, I paid a lot. I paid about $500 for all of this. My goal is always to double my money for the month. So hopefully in the month of March, I make over a grand in my pocket. That would be great. Um, so let's hopefully do that. <laughs> let's go in. So we'll start with this bag first. I have no idea. I went to two Goodwills, so I have like no idea. Oh, so in the back we have Ravenclaw. Who is playing Hogwarts Legacy right now? I'm not, I have to wait till April 4th, but I'm pretty much caught up with like the entire story and whatnot. But um, I have to wait till April 4th because I have an Xbox One that my brother kindly let me use. So I am just waiting for it to come out. But we have a Ravenclaw common room. Oh, so who's on Harry Potter TikTok right now? It is pretty much lit over there. We got all the houses having their own like house parties and it's so fun. Anyways, <laughs> let's get into it. So we'll go into, I guess we're going into leggings first. Um, so the first pair of leggings I picked up were these beautiful burgundy leggings. I love these. These are actually Fabletics, I think. Yeah, they are the Sculpt Knit made by Fabletics. They're really small, but they do stretch pretty good. They keep you pretty much in. And this paneling is slightly kind of like... Um, it's not really mesh, but it is slightly see-through. But yeah, they're burgundy, they're really pretty, and they are a size small. So these are the first guys I picked up. I'm actually gonna make some room here so I can put everything down, okay. Next, another pair of leggings. These are Spy Spanx. They are the Spanx by Sarah Blakely um, leggings. These are a size I don't know because the they're 1214 in UK, so let's have to look that up. I think they're probably like a medium or a small, but they are just these. Yeah, I picked up Spanx because Spanx does sell for decent money, so I picked them up, especially for the amount I paid for them. I would love to double that. So next we're gonna go into some jeans. These I picked up literally for the brand. I didn't care. I'm not really picking up too much jeans or too many jeans, only because jeans is not really part of my aesthetic, but because I was a little bit, a little bit desperate um, looking in different sections because there wasn't a lot in my personal section this time around for dark academia. If you know, like academia kind of things are more in like cores, like the cottage core, fairy core, forest core is kind of more of like a transitional summer to fall, fall to winter. So going into spring, it's a little bit harder to find what I'm personally looking for, but I did pick these up. These are the brand mother. If it decides to this thing, there we go grandmother they are these peachy pink jeans i picked them up because they were mother and i was like mother jeans i remember that from back in the day that's supposed to sell so i picked them up um they are the high-waisted looker ankle in fray so i picked them up they're like a peachy pink color i don't like i said i don't usually pick up this but then i was like you know what we're luna love good today so we're going to be picking up colors that we probably don't normally pick up all right, picked this up. This was totally giving me the kind of um, vibes, but also this brand sells pretty well. This is Adriana Papel. It's one of the mother of the bride type dresses, and it is a size 16 wide or 16 W, and it's one of their basic kind of dresses. You see these kind of everywhere, um, but I picked it up because it was a bigger size. It's also a very beautiful color. It's like a brownish, but it has like, um, iridescence of like a little bit of blue in there silver in there so this totally gave me luna lovegood going to the christmas party vibes except not her color and a brown dress so we picked that up these are the etta high-waisted wide leg jeans by adriana goldschmied these are a size 29r picked them up because they were wide legged wide legged and high-waisted are pretty much the most popular jean right now my jean that i wear is the madewell 
curvy straight leg or whatever um and it's super comfortable so i picked this up i also really liked the hem of these jeans i thought it was pretty cool um so i picked them up thought they were really great okay so this is the brand called phoebe it is new with tags it's a size four it's the pop tart bead cocktail dress but girl i loved this it's this beautiful orange i know that i have my videos all tinted like a blue so i apologize this isn't coming through check out my poshmark for true colors but it's like a neon orange and it has these gold gorgeous beading work i checked and all the beads are intact and this is the brand phoebe it's a size four and it is like kind of shorter, which isn't really on trend right now, but I don't know. I just thought they were so, it was so beautiful. And this is really just trying it out. It is new with tags, which is, which helps. Um, but I don't know, I just fell in love with it. I thought it was so gorgeous and I couldn't leave it. It like reminds me of like the 1930s flapper, maybe even Havana Cuba type style, like in the sunset we go dancing, okay? That's kind of what it was giving me. Okay, so now a rando. I actually wasn't gonna pick this up, but then I kind of forgot to take it out and I was like, whatever. Um, this is an Offline by Airy. If you don't know, Offline by Airy leggings are my favorite leggings. I love them, they're super comfy. They don't really like suck you in as much, but they're super, super comfy. So I picked up this like little hoodie guy. So don't look at this, it doesn't go with my aesthetic at all. But I thought it was really nice, it's super, like cable knitty and comfy and i think it's great for transition from the winter to the uh winter to the springtime okay the last one in this bag totally gave me like boho hufflepuff vibes where are you oh it like untied but you tie the neckline like this i think do you what are we doing here Oh no, never mind. This is the wrong one. This is Blue Rain. I thought this was the Lulu's one I picked up. I picked one up similar to this. And it's just this beautiful kind of like boho chic kind of midi dress. It has golding threaded, gold threading throughout and it's just a gorgeous like burgundy orange blue. You got all of the Hogwarts colors on here except for the green, which is fine in this case. Oh, I'm so sad. I didn't find a lot of emerald green this time around. I think I bought all of their emerald green that was like decent last time, so they just haven't restocked it. But yeah, it's so pretty. This is by the brand Blue Rain. I didn't care about the brand. I just love the style, so I picked that up. I mentioned in a previous video that I'm really picking up style mostly um, instead of brand, but yeah. Okay, so that's the first bag. Five more bags to go. Let's go into this bag. This bag has some shoes. Okay, so I picked up two pairs of shoes from the first Goodwill I went to. The first pair are these, go this way, okay. Cynthia Rowley booties. And oh, so the winter time, fall time, they're really versatile for any one. They're size eight and they're in really good condition. They are, like I said, Cynthia Rowley and I don't know what they're called. I have to look later what they're called. I think they're called the Pucks and they're in 8M and they are, I have no idea, but yeah, they're in really great condition. So I pick them up. I don't pick up shoes often, but when I do, I try to make them like my style and this is definitely my style. The next pair of shoes, I went out of my style, but they were in such fabulous condition that I was like, I have to take them. They were expensive as well, but I think they'll sell for triple the money. And these are these gorgeous Danskos. They are a dark brown with a black um, embossing I think they are just in gorgeous condition um, I will have to take off the price on the bottom but they are in such good condition I was just like I need to get them I went back and forth on them a lot but honestly they're fabulous and um, I looked up comps they look like around 40 so I was like all right well if I can sell them for 40 that would be really great and these are size 40 so they're size 10 and a half 10 I think but gorgeous condition, love those. Okay, back to, oh, skirts. Okay, so I went to the skirt section of the first place. Sorry about that, that's just um, Ambient Worlds. If you don't know, that's who I'm using today is Ambient Worlds for the back drop. These are Sun size 26. Loved the embroidery, thought it was super cute. Roses, we love the florals. Really nice denim skirt. Then of course we went back to my academia and we picked up this L.L. Bean skirt. It's a size four 
It's a wool blend with nylon and it's a midi skirt. Gorgeous mini tartan skirt, perfect for that dark academia, just or regular academia look, not really dark because it does have that bright red. Then we went into some quirky with the Hufflepuff color. We have this beautiful, sorry, the button is unbuttoned, so let's put that in. Um, it has like tortoise shell buttons. If it like decides, to, there we go. Tortoise shell buttons. It's Bowden size six, uh, size two. It's a little small, but I loved it. I thought it was so cute, and it comes with like a really cute belt. And that's always a fun one. Little pencil skirt number from Bowden. The next skirt I got was a, a Margaret M size large. It's a stitch fix skirt. It's the Rhiannon knit skirt in brown size large, and it's another mini houndstooth skirt. We're back in my in my realm. It has green and blue, beige and white. So it got that Ravenclaw Slytherin vibes. Super, super cute. And it flares a little bit at the bottom, which is nice. And the final item in this bag is this next skirt. This is where I kind of went a little brighter in my picking. Um, this is a J. Crew skirt size six. I have a really weird feeling I sold a skirt like this previously. Um, Really beautiful A-line skirt, midi skirt. It's floral, kind of, like a watercolor, but it has all the houses, so I'm like, listen, that works out. All right, that's the second bag. We're only halfway through, third bag. Okay, let's get into this dress that I picked up. You guys, this totally screamed Luna Lovegood to me going to the Christmas party. This is Susie Chin for Maggie Boutique. I don't even know what size it is, um, a size six. Oh, look how beautiful this is. It's like a lavender to silver gradient. It has a Baroque print. It's just totally like fairy core winter going to the Yule Ball situation. It also gave a little Cho Chang in the fourth movie. I don't know. I loved it. I had to get it. I, I had to get it. It was just giving me the vibes. So I was like, this is coming home with me. Oh, I have to save this. Receipts, I freaking hate receipts, you guys. <laughs> okay. Next, I picked this one up specifically for the brand. Um, this is Iris and in Ink. It sells pretty good on Poshmark, and it's also a maxi, which if you guys have been following my last couple of videos, you would know that I'm really looking into maxis because maxi dresses are really what's selling right now. And that's just in style. So it's a high, oh, sorry, it's a V-neck maxi dress. It's a zebra print and it has this beautiful like ruffle in the bottom it'll just be a beautiful dress to sell i'm really loving it i don't know what size it is to be honest or do i know i no i don't um i'll figure it out later <laughs> but yeah thought it was gorgeous so i picked it up okay this one is for my science people or people who like you know potions and herbology well mostly potions because I have and then arithmancy uh, this is a brand called LA soul they're known for their kind of um, interesting prints and I found this dress and I thought it was so cute it's totally a chemistry set dress so this totally reminds me of like when Serious tell Snape go play with your chemistry set like it's given off that vibe and it's the brand like I mentioned LA soul Oh, I just love it and then I'll just give you guys a close-up really quick of like everything look it even has like green potions on it Love that for us. I mean This is a Talani dress size extra large again has that patchwork kind of feel to it more of a boho chic kind of vibe which again like i said i'm not really interested too much in this kind of pattern but i think the brand is really good so i picked it up um well not like really good really good for me is if it like sells for more than 40 dollars. <laughs> that's really good for me so that i feel like will okay so i found this this was in the adults section but it's for kids but if this is not scream Luna Lovegood going to the Christmas party, I don't know what does. This is by Crew Cuts, which is the kids version of um, J. Crew. Oh. Fairy Princess, what? 
Fairy Princess What. Look how cute this is, an extra large. I really hope that with my lighting situation and my coloring situation, you can see that, but like, it is an iridescent lavender shade, perfect for any little mini Luna Love Goods out there. Just anybody who loves something a little bit more interesting to wear. This could also be women's as well, but this is an extra large crew cut. And I just thought it was gorgeous and I had to, I had to get that. I just, I had to, I just had to get it. All right, going back into a warmer outfit. This is Zara Knit. This is a size medium. Oh my God, because I didn't do anything to my hair, I feel like it's just, it's wild today. Um, the size medium, it's just a high neck knit dress, black and white kind of basket weave type look. Really pretty there. It's more like sophisticated, sophisticated we're going with. All right, another, you guys are gonna get annoyed, another Luna Lovegood thing I picked up. I was like, screw it. This is a vintage Albert Nippon Evening, size eight. How cute is this? This is totally giving fairy vibes, fairy core vibes. It's given pastel vibes. It's just a beautiful like pastel seafoam green almost. This is the back. The flowers are cloth flowers. The beading is immaculate. Look at that. Oh, I just could not leave that behind. That's why I call this a Luda Love Good haul because those two dresses right there straight up made my day. All right, now we're going into some bottoms. So we got, we had to get a Slytherin bottom. These are Paige. These are a size 26. I don't know what. They are the, I have no idea what they are, to be fair. Um, so we're gonna just pass that. But they are just like kind of like these cargo looking jeans. They're really, really cool. They look like that. I think there was like something on them. But I knew that I could take off the on the knee. There's like a little yellow like mark of some sort. So we can get rid of that. But they're corduroy-ish. They're dark green. They're like a teal actually rather than a green. But I still think they're beautiful. So I'll pick them up. Girlfriend Collective. Oh, I was so happy. I was able to find two pairs of Girlfriend Collective leggings. And these are the first ones. They're like a high-waisted. Well, they are a high-waisted 7 8 Legging, they are a beautiful, like, beautiful blue. There's in a pocket in the back. Um, oh, they're a size medium. And they're just really nice. And they're super soft and super, like, they feel really good. So I picked them up. Athleta, these are the Elation Train 7 8 tight. They are this gorgeous sage green color. You guys know how much I love a sage green. I picked these up as well. The next legging I picked up are these Sweaty Betty Power Leggings. They just look like this. They're like a black, purple, white design. I don't like to buy like super design leggings, but I want to try out Sweaty Betty again. Um, I have sold in the past Sweaty Betty, but like never really any bites. So hopefully this will be good. And then finally, I have these gorgeous silky Monroe pants. These are a size medium. They're 100% rayon. They are kind of like, they are a little bit, just a little bit wrinkled, but it's okay because the wrinkle will come out while they hang to like relax. So love that for us. Okay, so that is the third bag. Now we're halfway done, three more bags to go. Okay, so back to the skirts. I got this skirt that screamed my name. I don't know the brand. It's called like K Yeren. I have no idea. I didn't care. I just love the skirt. Um, it is pocketed. It is a midi. It is a little bit A-lined. And it has an elastic stretch in the back. This is beautiful. It's just gorgeous. It's just a gorgeous. So I had to pick it up. You know what I mean? Oh, we're back to the leggings. <laughs> so this must be the second place. Okay, so I picked up these Prana pants. They're green. So we're make, putting that into, well, they're like a grayish, stretchy. And they sell for around 30 bucks on Poshmark. So I just decided to get them because why the hell not? They're a size medium. These gave me Luna Love good kind of vibes. Um, these are the Relay Capri in size small by Athleta. This is 
is what they look like. They're kind of fun, kind of funky, and also the comps are pretty good on these, so I picked those up. Okay, we have a very good find. This is the brand Acris Punto. Apparently it's really high end. And this is just a linen pencil skirt. It's like a very light, light green color. And I just thought it was really nice and I picked it up because of the brand, let's be real. Next we have more leggings. This is another, the, a second girlfriend collective I found. It's a size small, they're gray with pockets on the side. I think they're seven eighths. They might even be, yeah, they're seven eighths. I don't think they're full length. I think they actually might be full length. I don't know. But yeah, Girlfriend Collective, size small. I don't know if you're gonna be able to see that. But yeah, got those, loving those. Okay, another pair of Gymshark leggings. These are, I don't even know what size they are to be fair. Um, I'll find them later. But they are like these camo Gymshark leggings. They're full length and I believe they're high waisted, so I was happy with that. They're like a knit, like the sculpt knits, like Fabletics. All right, we have um, a new with tags or a new without tags. These are the standard um, Prana pants. I don't know. They're just gray outdoorsy pants. They have this little guy on there. Prana, size eight. Just some outdoorsy lightweight pants. Can't really go wrong with those. All right. We have some dark academia leggings. <laughs> These are the brand Athleta. They're the Elation printed tight, size small. They are like a dark rose print, which I like. I know leggings don't normally have like a print on them. They don't really sell for as much, but I thought these were very unique looking, so I picked them up. You like roses, you like working out, those are the pan for you. All right, second to last bag we go. Okay, oh, another pair of leggings. These are a lighter floral legging. These are Onzi. They are Onzi size medium large. I just thought they were beautiful. They're like this blush colored. These are seven eighths for sure. Blush colored legging. I don't know, I just thought they were so beautiful. I was like, they like work of arts on pants. All right, pick this up specifically for my cottage core. Ooh, sorry. Pick these up specifically for my cottage core, fairy core, maybe even like kitchen witch vibes. Um, this is the brand Hesperus and it's a size medium. And they don't sell for a lot, but I'm gonna list this one for a little bit more because I think the style will sell itself. It's a beautiful green floral dress it has that cottage core kind of bodice situation on it so cute sweetheart like neckline it's a midi to maxi depending on your height it has a slight slit in there and i don't know i just thought it was so freaking cute so i'll pick that up okay now we're back to jeans <laughs> i got these rag and bone 28 size 28 these are the nina high rise cigarette jean they are a size 28, like I mentioned, and they're just kind of like your basic jean. Nothing too crazy. Just picked them up because they're rag and bone. When it comes to jeans, I'm, it's the brand brand that really makes me go. Um, bought another pair of Everlane jeans. I sold the last pair I showed you guys, so I was like, oh, I'm buying all of These are a size 26. They are cropped. They're the cheeky bootcut jean. So they're cheeky, they're bootcut. And they're cropped. So we got all three that are fun for the summer. Okay, we have some tops. I picked up this Madewell top size large. I sold the last one like this from Gap, the green one. So I'm hoping this flannel will do well as well. It's just a red and black flannel. Love this for us. And then I picked up this flannel as well this is marine layer marine layer is from here is from san francisco california you would think i would see more of this but i don't marine layer right there this one's more of a pastel picnic basket picnic basket picnic print buffalo plaid whatever you want to call it like a seafoam green and white notice that i have a lot of seafoam green and white 
Um, okay, then I got this. This was purely because of the brand and the style. This will do really well on eBay. I don't know how well this will do on Poshmark, but I'll list it on all three platforms. Anyways, this is a soft surrounding 2X gorgeous kind of paisley scarf type of shirt. Really nice, sheer. It's given me like chillin' vibes. Size 2X, soft surroundings. That's the T. Oh my God, this mountain is gonna topple over. Okay, and then I have two pairs of shoes from the last Goodwill. I picked these up. These are J. Crew. They are a size six and a half. They are slightly, they're not damaged. They're just like locked on, obviously. But the inside looks really good. So that's why I picked them up. I was like, damn, the insides look good. Um, these is what they look like. They're just little loafers. They're really doing it for me. I like the beige. It goes with everything. And I like the chain look. So pick those up. Who am I picking up shoes? I like never pick up shoes, but I was in a mood. And then finally, these are for our summer gals. These are a pair of platform saludos. <laughs> I don't know why I did this to myself, but they are platform saludos. They are a size, God, I don't, don't even know. They're US seven and a half. They look bigger than a seven and a half, but they're US seven and a half. They're just beige. They have the espadrille kind of look on the bottom. As you know, saludos is known for their espadrilles. So I used to have like three pairs of saludos. I don't wear saludos anymore, I don't know why. But I can't really find them. Um, and I really like these, they're really cute. I picked them up to sell. So that'll be like our little platform number for the summer. All right, last, ooh, I have another, another guy in here, okay. Um, last baggy has the book. So uh, I'll show you the book last because this is first clothing, then we'll talk about the book. Okay, we have a skirt, a black skirt, pleated tennis skirt. They, it is an Athleta A-game mesh skirt, 13.5, size large. It's about to be that spring summertime again, so let's bring the skirts and of course, we go with the sole, which is black as my soul. So. Love that, got that, oh, love it, okay. We have a dark blue business dress. I don't pick up business dresses often, but because it is COS brand, a size eight, I picked it up. Looks like this, it's a midi dress as well. Just gorgeous little, oh, it's not even a business dress, it's like a midi dress, it's slid and everything. So just kidding, midi dress, that's why I picked it up, sure, why not. Another pair of jeans that I picked up from the like new stock rack that they had. These are Amber Crumbin Fitch size 27. These are the Curve Love jeans. They are the ankle straight ultra high rise. Again, we have the ankle straights and ultra high rise, which makes me a happy girl. So got those. Oh my God, this is going to topple over. All right. <clears throat> We have this gorgeous dress. I was a little, con I was contemplating picking this up because here's the T. I don't know how Pretty Little Things thing does online, um, but I thought the dress itself would sell. So this is what it looks like. It is kind of like a wrap dress, so I do have to like work on that, but it's beautiful. It has these gorgeous sleeves. It's like silky, satiny, and it's super freaking long. So I'm excited to sell that. Yes, finally, size small Lulu's dress. Pick this up because I think it'll sell for a little bit more. My Lulu's doesn't really sell for that much. So it was around $20, $30 a dress, but I was like, this is a maxi, this is trendy. Let's pick that up because Lulu's is what we're really working with when I go to, to my Goodwills. All right, a few more things and then we'll get to the book. Okay, so we have two of my favorite colors, green and red, well, burgundy. Burgundy, this is the Topshop Moto skirt in size 26. Gorgeous burgundy corduroy skirt. You can't really see none of them. Um, and then finally, a beautiful green Bowden dress. This one is one of their knit dresses. It's a size six, long sleeve. It probably won't sell like as much as like their more structured dresses, but I love the print and the color. It's like a blue, like a light blue key and heart and then an emerald green background. So I was like, Sold girl. Okay, 
Finally, let's get into the book that I thrifted. I, I'm i starting a series on my TikTok. Every time I go to the thrift store, show you guys what kind of books you'd be able to find at the thrift shop. They have a lot of really good books. A lot of them are ones that are, I've heard of, but I'm just not interested in reading. This one I've never heard of, and I think I might end up reading this before Anastasia, which I will be talking about in my favorites video because I don't know why I added that to my mystery TBR because it's 800 pages long and I don't think I have the brain capacity to do an 800 page book at the moment. But I picked this book up so I might read this instead. This is called The Seller. It is by Natasha Preston and I was dying because it says AKA Wattpad sensation Natasha Preston. I need to see what kind of fan fiction this girl is writing because if she was able to, to get a book like write a book, I'm down for it. And let me read you the synopsis. This is what I saw and I was all like, girl, I'm all about this book. I might start reading this baby today. This is, um, okay, Lily. Why is her name Lily? Hi, Snapey Snape. Um, my stomach dropped as a tall, dark haired man stepped into view. Had he been hiding between the trees? No, sorry, gulping, I took a step back. I'm not Lily. He shook his head, a satisfied grin on his face. No, you are Lily. I'm Summer, you have the wrong person. You, and then she goes, you utter freak. I could hear my pulse crashing in my ears. How stupid to give him my real name. He continued to stare at me smiling. It made me feel sick. You are Lily. Before I could blink, he threw his arms forward and grabbed me. I tried to shout, but, my, but he clasped his hand over my mouth, muffling my screams. My heart raced, I'm going to die. For months, Summer is trapped in a cellar with a man who took her and three other girls, Rose, Poppy, and Violet, his perfect pure flowers, his family. But flowers can't survive long off, long cut off from the sun and time is running out. I guess she also wrote a book called Awake, so I'm gonna have to look at that. But this totally gave me the collector vibes. If you guys don't know what the collector is, it is one of my favorite books that I read in high school. It is about, um, this guy who collects butterflies and one day he meets, he sees this woman just like somewhere, I don't remember where, but he starts to stalk her and then he collects her and like, yeah, it's, I need to reread that because I have my old copy of The Collector and I think I just want to reread it really bad. But this was totally giving me The Collector vibes and I want to see what her book Awake is looks like so if this book is good i'll probably get her awake but it's crazy because oh this is a young adult fiction ages 14 and up so we'll see what happens um but i just loved the cover how pretty is that and her other cover is like a tulip and it says awake i don't know i think i might start reading this today because i feel like this is something that i've been looking for i I'm kind of in a reading slump, which I'll talk about in my February Fairies video. But anyways, that is everything for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, like, subscribe, and all these items will be listed in the month of March at some point. So if you're interested in any of them, let me know by leaving a comment down below, and I will let you know when it's up. So I'll talk to you guys later. Thank you so much for watching. Like, subscribe, and bye!